So today I am so excited because we made a special Christmas gift for the goats and we're getting ready to give it to them right now. Christmas gift for the goats? Yeah, Christmas gift for the goats. Okay. Yeah. We made a feeder out of a tote and I don't know what else you want to call it. I mean, it's just a feeder tote. I call it a feeder or a tote feeder. That's better, tote feeder. So. And it was super easy to make, right? I wasn't the one that made it. So. I was going to say, <laughs> you, you're telling the story here. Okay, so it wasn't super easy to make? It wasn't hard at all, no. Okay. And it's really strong and durable. And I'm really excited because we've been needing a hay feeder for the goats for a very long time. Need another hay feeder for the goats. I gave a little bit his over there. Yeah, well, we're going to make another one for him. Well, I'm sure glad you're volunteering me for yeah, all of this are, stuff. Yeah, we, we are. We are. Remember, we planned it. But anyway. No, you planned it. <laughs> no, you said it too. You planned it. We bought one of these hay feeders for our goats a while back and I personally just don't like it because the goats get in there and they lay down and they pee all over their hay and it's just a pain. Oh, just like that. I think that looks good. What do you think, guys? Hmm? Hey, Aster. I don't think they know quite what to think about it. Hey, right, Aster. I really like it because it has this tray in the bottom and we took out the plug right here so that way the water will drain out of there when it rains. Hey, what you think about it, huh? Sweet Pea's trying it out. I'm hoping that it should be tall enough that they won't jump in on top of it because if they do they'll be able to jump out. gonna really put it to the test because we're giving them some of our homegrown alfalfa and they go crazy for that. I was hoping that they would do, just do like Aster's doing and get up on their hind feet and eat it that way. I really do think it'll work out great for them. At least I hope anyway. I do have to say, I think the goats love their new Christmas present. And then also today we want to take a tote and build some kind of... Goat hut. A goat hut um, to put a heat lamp in for the goat kids. That way, um, here in a day or two or whenever our goat kids arrive, they will have something to keep warm in. So basically what we've done so far is just um, cut that little section out right there and then next we're going to cut a hole in the plastic part of the tote. Okay, he poked a hole in it with his knife to start it. So there it is. As you can see, it's still got some chemical on the inside. Zinc. Yeah, Michael says it's zinc. So we're just gonna rinse that out and we're gonna somehow figure out how to attach a heat lamp in there. Yeah, that's not exactly, I didn't want the whole thing, but it will. 
I thought if we could get this cap out, we could just bring the cord and everything through the top. That would be a great idea. And then bring the cord through, and then you could take a wire and tie it to these pieces there. Yep. Either side or both sides or whatever. Got it out, huh? Yep. All right. Tighten that one, the big one down a little bit tighter. So that'll work perfect, I think. So we got it rinsed out and we're letting it dry out a little bit. So now on to making another goat feeder. Now I'm going to make a separate video on this, so be sure to check out the next video if you'd like to see how it's made. up the video for today because we have a Christmas party to go to tonight and some things that we need to get done this afternoon. If you enjoyed this video please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.